Hi everybody, I have another Math in the Garden project to share with you today. This book integrates math with garden work and today we're going to work on the project called Symmetry Inside Fruit. Now this project is designed for kids 5 to 13. What I really like about these activities are that they have one lesson with multiple activities so that it reaches a wide range of ages. Now the first thing we did when we got this book is we designed our own garden journal based on the tutorial at the beginning of this book and this is where we are putting all of our projects based on this book. I also have a tutorial on how to make this and you can check the description box below for more information on that. Alright, so for this project you're going to need a variety of fruits and vegetables and it's recommended that you harvest these from your garden, but this time we harvested this from our local grocery store. Now we debated on which way to cut these fruits and vegetables as we only have one of each kind, whereas the lesson suggests having two of each fruit and vegetable so that you can cut them both long ways and short ways so that you can really get a good image on which ones are symmetrical and what kind of symmetry they produce. We decided to go ahead and trace all of our cut fruits and vegetables into our garden journal and this is going to serve a couple of purposes. The first is that as we are observing each one we can know what kind of symmetry each fruit and vegetable produces but later on since we're going to have an exact replica of all of these fruits and vegetables in our garden journal, we're going to be able to continue the lesson long after this activity is over. Now, we will not have to cut the fruit over again because we will have a perfect sample in our garden journal. Now, we're not just going to trace all of these fruits and vegetables, we are also going to watercolor them as well using our Distress inks. Now, we're going to be using the re-inkers rather than the Distress ink pads. Now, this is the Distress ink colors in a liquid form, and it's generally used to re-ink the ink pads when they get dry. But we're just going to use them as watercolors today. We've put a couple of drops onto a non-porous surface. Now, these re-inkers are extremely concentrated concentrated so you want to make sure that you water them down. We're also working on drawing paper rather than watercolor paper because when we made our garter journal to begin with, we made it with drawing paper. Now this has posed a couple of problems as we're working through this garden journal since we're doing so many watercolors. The first thing is that the paint really absorbs quickly into the drawing paper as opposed to when you're working with watercolor paper which can hold the water quite a bit more easily and you can really move that watercolor around. One of the other problems we experienced was that our paper was more likely to tear and a lot of the pigment from the watercolor did bleed through onto the back of this page and sometimes all the way onto the next page. You could certainly avoid this by using color pencils instead of watercolors or you could use watercolor paper. Though we traced them you can actually use the fruits and vegetables to make stamps and not enough of the pigment came off when we did this in order for it to be a true stamp but by tracing it and then filling it in we get a pretty close representation of those fruits and vegetables and then we can move on to our symmetry activity and we don't need to have the fruits and vegetables anymore since we have a very good representation of them in our garden journal. Of course the fruits and vegetables make a tasty snack Maybe not the jalapeno, but the rest of it was pretty good. And of course we have beautiful artwork in our garden journal. So if you'd like to see some of the other projects we've done with math in the garden, you can see the complete playlist by clicking on the screen right now. And if you want to see what we're up to on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.